team moving in with us? Because we invited her to, Harold. Your cousin Grace is all alone in the world now, son, and we're going to try to help her find a whole new life for herself. Will I have to play with her? <laughs> of course not. She's Hazel's age. I thought cousins were little kids. <laughs> well, she's really my second cousin, son, so that makes her your second cousin once removed. What does that mean? Oh, boy. Well, your cousin Grace is my father's brother's... <laughs> Look, really, it means she's distantly related to us. Mr. B, you're going to be late for the airport. Oh, boy, Hazel, you're right. Now, son, let's be very nice to her and make her feel welcome. I will. I'm going to do my part. Good, Hazel. I'll tell her some of my terrific jokes. <laughs> Hazel, my cousin is a quiet, sensitive woman. I'm sure she wouldn't be interested in your jokes. They might cheer her up. <laughs> we'll cheer her up by maintaining the kind of life she's used to. Oh, but Mr. And B... And that doesn't include terrific jokes. Hazel, uh, is her room ready? Oh, sure. Flowers and everything. Oh, by the way, I have a box of candy in the car. I'll come out and bring it in, Dad. Good, son. Mr. B, I hope you didn't get the kind with the soft centers. Hazel, <laughs> the box of candy is for Cousin Grace's room. Yeah, I know, but I thought she might offer me a piece. I should be going in about an hour. Goodbye, darling. Drive carefully. Thank I will. Come on, son. You want me to go to the airport with you? No, Harold, I want to talk to Cousin Grace on the way back. What about? Well, plans for the future, what she wants to do. Oh. Here you are. Dad, do you think it would be nice if I had the candy already and open for her? Well, that's very thoughtful of you, son, but I really believe she'd enjoy opening it herself. Oh. Bye, Dad. Bye. <laughs> Welcome for just as long as you want to stay. Thank you, Dorothy. I'll try not to be any trouble. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> and Grace, this is... Would you mind calling me Gracie George? That's what Papa always called me. Well, of course not. Uh, Gracie, this is Hazel Burke, our maid, and Hazel, this is my cousin, Gracie Baxter. How do you do? I'll try not to be any trouble. Oh, for Pete's sake, don't say that. It's going to be fun having you with us. I have a feeling that we met at Missy and Mr. B's wedding. Well, I'm not sure. I, I was the one in the picture hat, remember? Green with the lilacs on it? Hazel, I'm sure she can't remember a hat after all these years. Well, I thought maybe she might. It was real gorgeous. Everybody was looking at me. <laughs> I bet you remember how Missy and Mr. B looked. Indeed, I do. They were the handsomest couple. I should say they were. And look at Missy, she ain't changed a bit. You certainly haven't, Dorothy. Oh, well, that's not true, but thank you, just the same. And look at Mr. B. He must have put on 40 pounds. <laughs> Hazel. I think you're a fine figure of a man, George. Well, thank you very much, Gracie. Now, will you please show Miss Baxter to her room? Yes, sir. If you're tired after your trip, perhaps you'd like to take a nap. Oh, I never take naps. Papa didn't believe in them. Oh, well, then you come down whenever you're ready. We want you to make yourself completely at home. Oh, thank you, Dorothy. I'll try not to be any trouble. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Gracie. <laughs> Gracie, we're very happy to have you with us. The only thing we insist on is that you not be late for meals. Hazel. <laughs> well, uh, what I meant is, you know, I like to serve everything piping hot. I won't be late. Papa always insisted upon promptness and everything. Oh, terrific. Come on, I'll show you your room. If you don't remember my picture hat, maybe you remember my dress. It was a yellow chiffon, had 12 yards of ruffles on it. Gorgeous. I made it myself. <laughs> Cousin Gracie talks a lot about her dad, doesn't she? Well, she took care of him, Harold, and until about six months ago. Why didn't he take care of her? He wasn't very well, darling, and he was quite old. Do you know that he would have been 92 on his next birthday? Gee! Did he leave her much, George? A little more than his personal effects.